If you're anything like me, then you love to play the guitar and you would like to share your craft with the world. Regardless of genre or style, electric or acoustic, rhythm or lead, doesn't matter. You just have a fire burning inside of you and you feel like you have to do this. On top of that, you see all these talented guitarists seemingly getting drowned with products for free while you and me have to, you know, save money for months to be able to buy it. This video is for you. I want to cover a couple of topics here. Let's start with the first one, shall we? Oh, by the way, for the people that don't know me, my name is Budi. I play the guitar. I have this YouTube channel. I'm trying to grow it, share uh, a lot of riff ideas and uh, musical stuff and behind the scenes and everything. And um, I was actually having a very hard day today. I was very not really inspired to play the guitar. I tried for hours, but nothing felt right. And I thought, okay, I have to do something else. So I sat down, I thought about what could I say or do that could maybe help other people. And there, is, there are always beginners on YouTube that ask themselves, what should we do? And usually these videos, you know, revolve around, hey, okay, you have to have this camera, you have to have this mic and this blah, blah, blah. Editing stuff, we have to know, blah, blah, blah. I want to focus on other stuff today. All right, the first one and maybe the harshest one. There's no one waiting for you. This might sound mean, but I'm really serious. There's no one waiting for you. So we have to manage expectations. You can't expect that you, you know, just make the first video, upload it to YouTube and then go viral. It, it will not work that way. I mean, there's always an exception to the rule, but usually it doesn't work that way. This means we can't expect our first videos to get a lot of traction, a lot of engagement, comments and likes and, you know, subscriptions and everything. Because be honest, how many videos of a content creator do you have to watch and like, not thumbs up, but actually like, before you decide to subscribe? So this means you have to be willing to show up even though no one's there. You have to perform and, you know, uh, uh, pretend while talking to a camera that there is actually people wanting to hear what you have to say. But that's the tricky part, because at the beginning, no one is here to watch you or listen to you. So you feel like a dumbass talking to a camera like, hey, guys, today we're going to do such and such. But no one's there. So but you have to do it anyway, because this will make it a lot easier in the future. I started taking YouTube seriously about a year ago. And in this year, with weekly uploads, tons of riffs and original riffs and ideas and uh, a lot of covers as well. And then... Uh, a whole lot of YouTube shorts that I did, I made it to here. So I have right now, this is the subscriber count that I have right now. And also this is how many people are currently subscribed and how many are just watching. Just the thing I said before, right? You have to, or at least usually people have to watch a couple of videos from a content creator before they decide to, you know, interact with them be it thumbs up or, or comment or uh, subscription. I am mega proud of how far I came and how many new things I learned, but also worth mentioning, maintaining this pace, you know, with the weekly uploads and everything was very hard and I am nowhere near my goal. To conclude this point, you have to manage your expectations. Work on your videos, your guitar skills, your recording, your editing skills, and most importantly, try to have as much fun as possible. Good? Next, this will be a long ass video. Don't let low numbers discourage you. This is uh, the most frustrating part. Okay, there can be times where you put a lot of effort into a video and you think like, damn, this is the one. This is the best video on my channel so far. And then only a couple of hundred views. And then on the other hand, you have maybe just a dumb idea, just minute video, not really edited. It's just how it is Then that one blows off or goes viral. I mean, viral gets a couple of thousand views at least. And you're like, why is that happening? I still struggle with that. And I, I'm sure that every single content creator is still struggling or had to overcome the struggle. Because we like to think for X amount of effort that I put in, I should be rewarded with X amount of, you know, likes or comments or engagements or new subscriptions or whatever. But that's not the reality. 
That's why it's so important that it's fun, because if it's not fun, and then you get confronted with these frustrating things, it might lead to you giving up. All right, next one. Prepare for negative comments. Uh, doesn't matter what you do in life in general, but let's let's talk about YouTube, right? Doesn't matter what you do. There will always be a negative person. I <laughs> I average around three to four dislikes per video. I don't know. I like to think that these three to four dislikes are coming from the same person and I have three to four uh, dedicated haters. <laughs> I don't know, man. I mean, there's a video of me talking about my favorite guitar and the and the preset I use on my Quad Cortex and there's four dislikes. I mean, why? Make it make sense. How can you dislike the fact that I love my guitar? What's there to dislike? I don't know. But I mean, you know, you have to take it uh, uh, with humor. So, as I said, I imagine four, three to four haters that dedicate their uh, time to dislike my video, so that's great. Let's see if they will be on this video as well. <laughs> anyway, don't let negative comments or you know dislikes and discourage you. Your opinion is the only one that matters for you. So the stuff that I already said can be could be used for any kind of uh, YouTube channel. Well, let's say you're really a guitarist that wants to start a guitar channel, and there's a couple of things to also uh, uh, think about. Decide what kind of guitar channel you want to have. So you know we all know. There's the covers, there's the gear reviews, there's the original content guys, there's uh, the, the comedy skits, whatever, right? Or guitar lessons, you know. You'll mix them anyway, you know, you, you'll do one type of video and then change to something else and everything. But my main point is, for example, if I am, uh, if I am interested in learning guitar, right? I see you have a channel with lessons. And I want to watch the lessons, but every second video of you is something completely else. Maybe then you start doing reactions, but I'm, I'm not watching you for reactions. I'm here for your lessons, right? Or if, if I found someone that does great comedy skits, guitar related comedy skits, but every second video of him is a lesson. Dude, I'm not here for your lessons, right? I am here because you're funny. So you have to kind of uh, select what, what, what's most fun to do for you and then kind of focus on it. But as, like I said, sometimes we mix and match and everything. For example, I had to learn on my channel, with a few exceptions, the videos that have the most engagement and reach and everything are stuff focused on heavy riffs and original content and me taking you behind the scenes and just showing the, the, the DAW project that I have and everything. And on the other hand, if I do a cover, usually doesn't do anything. Except, you know, there's always exceptions. So I decided I will not constantly think about the next cover I could do. Instead, I just focus on creating uh, interesting and, and uh, heavy and disgusting riffs that I could use to feed my audience. Because my audience apparently doesn't care about the covers I want to do. But sometimes, Every now and then, there is a song that I want to cover because I want to cover it, because I want to learn it and then record it, try to recreate the song and everything. Then I'll just upload it anyway because, you know, maybe someone likes it, maybe someone, maybe they don't. But then I don't care because that is just something I did for me, for myself. All right, time for my conclusion. The most important thing to take away from this video is that it takes time. It takes time to learn the guitar. It takes time to learn how to record yourself, you know, musically and also uh, video. It takes time to learn the editing software. It takes time for you to, to uh, wrap your head around all these tags and when to post and how long should the title be and all oh, the thumbnail. God damn it, the thumbnail. You have to be clickbaity, but not too clickbaity because then it could, you know, piss off people. All these stuff that you have to uh, learn. But it takes time. And also it takes time to talk into a camera. Oh my god. A year ago. Just to let you know. I'm not gonna... I, I, I don't know how long this video will be, right? But I'm just gonna tell you. You can check. Right now I'm at minute 17. 
because I had to retake a couple of sentences and everything. A year ago, the 17 minutes would have been maybe double, at least 34 minutes, maybe 40 minutes, because I was just so awkward talking to a camera. And now I can just, you know, the first couple of sentences, I'm still awkward because I'm pretending that I talk to you even though I talked into a camera, but then it just flows. And that also takes time. In this day and age, it is even more difficult to, you know, continue doing something, stick with something, even if when there's no instant gratification. But with time, who knows, you might be able to make a living with playing guitar, because that was my uh, initial goal. And also, I mean, I hope I didn't uh, put too many negative points in here, but, you know, my main takeaways are, it takes time, and please, please, you have to have fun, because else it will just be soul-crushing. And also, I want to mention, if I wouldn't have started my YouTube channel a year ago, I mean, I started it longer than that, but if I wouldn't have started taking my YouTube channel seriously a year ago, I'm sure I wouldn't have met the people I met, uh, probably wouldn't be in a band, uh, probably wouldn't have recorded all these great ideas and songs. So I'm very happy that I took that step. Even though I'm not at my goal yet, I'm sure that I'll reach it someday. So keep at it. Um, if I can reach a thousand subscribers, so can you. I believe in you. And if you made it this far, then I would appreciate if you leave a thumbs up and a comment. And also subscribe to my channel. See you next time. Peace out.